After the Spirit Squad was disbanded, you were repackaged as Kenny Dykstra. You had several matches with Ric Flair. What was it like to work with Rick at such a young age and such a, that point in your career? Um, to me, it was awesome. Like, I'm not... I wouldn't say I'm cocky or arrogant, but I know what I'm capable of. So when they said I was going to do something with Flair, I said, okay, cool. Like, I'm not, I know that I can, I know that I can go with Flair in the ring. I know I can compete with him. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what it's all about. You can't send somebody in there that screams or someone in there that can't hold their own in a wrestling match because then it's just not going to work. It's going to be a horrible match. So Flair, it was great. And I learned a lot from him because before the show, you see each other, you go over different ideas, different things. I would never see Flair. I would never know where he was. And, like, there were times where I would look for him. And even if I found him, what am I going to say? Like, because he's the veteran, obviously, so he's calling the match. But maybe if I was around him, maybe he would talk about the match and relieve a little bit of pressure on me. So I was like, nope, never happened. So then they were like, okay. And I'm looking at the card, and I'm like, okay, we're next. And I still haven't seen Flair at all today. So I go up to the gorilla position where it's right before you go out to the ring. And then Vince would say, okay, you guys got 15 minutes. And then here comes Flair, and he said, take your four finish, okay? And I'm like, okay, cool. And then my music would play, and they'd send me out. So it was just straight. All the matches we did, we just won, won it. Just win them all. And that must have been a good learning experience for you as well. Oh, it was great because Flair, you know what's crazy too, is Flair will grab you in a headlock, and then he'll start hitting the ropes, and he won't say nothing. And you just have to go off of the feel. You have to go off of what he's... Hopefully you figure out what he's thinking as he's running. 